Hello. This is a near ASMR podcast. It is for children and parents who have a hard time going to bed. Some of my humor is for children, and I hope some of my humor is for parents. My stories don't always make sense. Sometimes I don't finish stories. The only purpose is for the little ones to fall asleep. And maybe I can help mom and dad fall asleep too. I don't know the stories before I tell them. Nothing I say will be bad. But some parents might have strong opinions about certain topics. This is also a live stream, so I will sometimes stop, talk to viewers. I will tell the story twice for the podcast. Sound is very important for story time. Now I will turn on white noise. Now, I will turn on music. Now, I will adjust the sound so it is comfortable. It is time for me to tell a story. Tonight's story is called The Children in the Wood. From the first picture, there are two horses and two men on riding on the backs of the horses. And there are also children on the horses. Fact. There is a, a horse in the front and a horse in the back. And in the horse in the front, it looks like there's a little boy who's riding the horse because he's in the front and he's holding the reins of the horse. Now the reins of a horse is kind of like the steering wheel. It's the steering wheel for a horse, except you can't drive a horse. You have to, a horse is an animal, it's a smart animal. You have to kind of tell the horse where you want it to go. And how do you tell a horse? Well, that's where the reins come in. So this little boy is holding the reins and is directing the horse which way to go. And the man is a big man with a big beak wearing a big hat with a big blue feather and 
He's riding in the saddle of the horse, but he's also holding the boy, maybe so the boy doesn't fall off. And the man is looking back, he's looking back, right, at the, the other horse that's riding behind them. And it looks like, uh, looks like there's a little girl and another man riding the horse. But this time, the man in the second horse is, is, is guiding the horse because he's holding the reins, not the girl. So, so why does the little boy get to hold the reins and the little girl doesn't get to hold So That's not very fair. Um, I'm looking at this picture and it looks like, oh my gosh, it's kind of strange, but I think, uh, the boy has a knife on, this, on his side. Well, is that a real knife or is that maybe like, uh, like, like a toy sword maybe? He's got like a toy sword that he's gonna play with. I hope it's just a toy. I hope it's a toy. And I, he's too young to have like something sharp. I don't like that. I don't like that, uh, that there's a, something sharp on him. So I'm going to imagine that it's a toy sword. Because you know, he's a little kid. He's a boy after all. And I saw a lot of little girls that like to play swords too. I don't know. Hey, actually. Maybe with the little girl and the other horse, maybe she has something. I wonder if we will see what they have. And I think, so I was worried that the, the man and the first horse, the horse in front, was, wasn't paying attention because he's looking back. But actually, that's okay because the boy, the boy's driving. The boy is paying attention. That's cool. Let's go to the next part of the story. There we go. Uh, children in the wood. Now, here's something. This is from a very, very, very old book. And out of the book, it's written, Frank M. Thing, Teacher Joseph. So, Frank M. Thing. Oh my gosh, is Thing a name? That's pretty cool. In Teacher, Teacher Joseph, you know, when I was a teacher in Japan, they, they would often call me that, say, Teacher Jack. Hey, Teacher Jack. They wouldn't call me Uncle John John. No. Because only, only my family could call me Uncle John John. And only you can call me Uncle John John. It'd be kind of weird for my students in Japan to call me Uncle John John. But they did call me Teacher Jack. What if they called me Uncle Teacher? Would that be okay? That'd be confusing. That's like two different job titles. It, could you be Dr. Lawyer? Dr. Lawyer thing? Oh. I mean, you could be a doctor and a lawyer. But you wouldn't want to be called Dr. Lawyer. So and so. That would be kind of confusing. I wonder, I wonder how you should call someone Dr. Anyway, we have a story. Children in the wood. Children. And they seem to be playing tennis. And I don't really understand. I don't really understand why they're... But it's not even tennis. There's no net. There isn't a net. And, and it's not a tennis ball. It looks like it's... Ah, uh, like some kind of an arrow, but not really an arrow. But they seem to be hitting it with a tennis racket. But there's no net. And also, they're playing really close to each other. I, I don't know if that's really safe. Anyway, remember, I don't know this story. Maybe you know this story, but if you do, 
I don't want you to spoil the story for me. I want to be able to tell the story the way I want to tell the story. So there's a, a, a girl, a little girl, and she's wearing a very pretty red dress. And there's a boy. I'm not really sure what the boy is wearing. I don't really know. And I need to figure out what, what kind of clothes these are. Anyway, they seem to be having a lot of fun. And maybe the weather's nice. Weather's nice and they're playing outside. Maybe it's in the afternoon. And the, the sun is shining on them. Maybe their eyes start to feel heavy. Their eyes start to feel heavy. Eyes start to close. Eyes start to close. They start to breathe. Very... Are you breathing deeply? I hope you are. It's very important to breathe deeply. Bad. Next page. Oh, there's the boy and the girl again. And the boy is kissing Mama goodnight. Now, hold on a second. Hold on a second. The, the boy and the girl are kissing mom goodnight. But wait a minute. Shouldn't the boy and the girl be in bed and mom is kissing them goodnight? I don't know. Maybe, maybe mom is like Uncle John John and he has to go to bed very early because he has to get up early, early in the morning to teach Chinese boys and girls like you very early in the morning so that he can pay rent. You know what rent is? How to explain. The economics of living in a, a developed country means that some people can't afford to buy a house, so they have to live in somebody else's house. But it's not their house. It doesn't belong to them. But they still have to pay the person who's the owner of the house. So, if they have permission to live in someone else's house, they have to pay the owner of the house for permission. And that money that they pay is called rent. And in order for you to pay rent, you gotta have money. And if you have money, you need to have job. So a job is how you can get a salary. And if you can have a salary, that means you have disposable income. And disposable income is what allows you to pay rent. Oh yeah. The boy is kissing the his mom his mom goodnight. Now, what's really interesting about this, like I said before, I'll say it again. I might say it three times. I think I just I think I just did say it three times. Is this is kind of a switcheroo. Mom's in bed, not the boy and the girl. But I think it's I think it's kind of nice that you know before mom goes to sleep, you know, before she heads off to, to dreamland where she has happy dreams, that her kids will give her a kiss good night. Oh, now, I don't know who this is. Maybe this is, this is dad. This is dad, because see, the kids are talking to dad. And clearly dad is, is sitting in a comfortable chair with a pillow and he's got a blanket. And then, then there's this old dude uh, standing behind dad. Maybe, maybe that's his dad. Maybe that's grandpa. Maybe that's grandpa. Grandpa is there too. That's all right. And and who's this other man in the red costume? It's like an old timey person's costume. And and he's and he's there. Uh, he's wishing uh, Dad uh, a good night, maybe. And I I bet it's like his brother, or maybe it's like 
a, a friendly neighbor. And like, like this, this guy, he's not going to kiss dad goodnight. He's not going to kiss dad goodnight. Because that's not, that's not their relationship. Their relationship is purely, oh, you know, maybe the neighbor to neighbor friendship. And so they're not going to kiss each other goodnight. No. So, so they're shaking hands. They're shaking hands. And that's okay too. It's okay to shake hands good night. Can you, can you shake hands with your mom or your dad? Can you shake hands good night right now? If you're not already asleep, not asleep, what you can do is you can shake hands with your mom or your dad. You can say, shake hands. You can say, good night, good night. And if it's your dad, he used to say, good night, sir. Good night, sir. And if it's your mom, say good night, ma'am. That's 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 the lady form of sir is ma'am. Say good night, ma'am. You can shake that. Yeah. And so when this man leaves, uh, the boy and the girl are, of course, they are going to kiss dad good night. And maybe dad is. It looks like he's got a book or something next to him. He's gonna read. Uh, while his wife is sleeping and maybe grandpa is going to be there too maybe grandpa is going to be there too but I'm a little confused by something I'm a little confused by their by their clothes everybody's wearing weird clothes so um let me see let's see um oh look this is a this is a scene from the princess bride and it's got Fred Savage, who's who's a kid in this movie, and he's in bed and he's sick. And there's this old man. It's his grandpa, and and he's reading to Fred Savage, who is a boy in this picture. He's not a boy in real life. He's actually kind of an old guy now. It's like he's like thirty, you no. Know? But in this movie, he's just a kid. And, and the, the old man, Peter Falk, by the way, uh, is reading to him because he's, he's like his grandpa. He's reading to him a, a bedtime story. Just like I'm reading a bedtime story to you too, right now. But I think, oh, I think what's happening is just like in the picture, dad is going to read a story to, to mom. He's going to read a bedtime story to her. Isn't that cool? I think that's really cool. So I wonder if he's going to read to her in the same voice that I'm reading to you. you know, the kind of voice that is almost ASMR, but not quite ASMR. It's what I call wink, wink, er, ASMR, ha 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 ha. Trademark pendant. Yes, yes. Do you know what a... No, okay, no. okay, I want to continue with the story. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was a little confused about the people's clothes. But let's keep going with the story. Oh. Now I'm really confused because... In this picture, there are three men. I have never seen these three men before. They are in a in a room. I guess it's a library. Why are there like, in a, rather when I say a library, I mean like a home library, not not like public library. You can't go to the public library right now. They're closed. But what I mean is. This is a home library and it's got many, 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 many books. Now, why is it all of the stories that I've been reading so far, they have a home library? I don't have a home library. I just have a green screen you can't see that's covered by a picture of stars. Anyway, in one picture, there's a man in very old-timey clothes or a costume that's purple. 
the other picture, or the other man in this picture, he's wearing a, he's wearing a, the same costume, but this time it's, it's red. It's red. And in the other picture is another, or this picture, this picture, there is a, a man in the same old timey clothes, but this time it's yellow. So we got purple, red, and yellow. Except, uh, uh, in, in two of the men, two of the men are wearing cool hats with feathers. I wish I had a cool hat like that with feathers. I'd like a hat with feathers. All of the men have a mustache and a beard, except one man, one man doesn't have a beard. He just has a really cool handlebar type mustache. And in this picture, one man is is offering the other man a bag. It's, and I don't know what's inside the bag. Maybe a, a, a bag of, of, of D&D dice? <gasps> Maybe that's why they're wearing these costumes. <gasps> they're wearing these old timey costumes and he's giving him this bag of dice because the table next to them they're going to sit down and they're going to play Dungeons and Dragons for similar type tabletop RPG with a similar system involving dice. That's really cool. These are, these are cool older dudes, I think. Now, because I'm super confused by their costume, I'm going to take a look at similar costume here. This picture, I chose an old timey photo of a painting from Elizabethan times, Elizabethan England, basically time of Shakespeare. Do you know who Shakespeare is? Shakespeare is a very important writer. He wrote a lot of really cool stories that were, that were plays. Plays are stories that actors tell you on a stage. Not kind of like a TV show or a movie, but it's real life. Anyway, Shakespeare, he was alive a really, 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 really long time ago. And in those days, the fashion of the, fashion of the people was very different. So I grabbed a picture of of a, of a painting of the kind of clothes people used to wear. And I'm going to be honest with you. It doesn't look like any of the clothes people wear today. And I'm kind of confused. How do you call these clothes? Like, I want to say he's wearing pants, but he's not wearing pants. I want to say he's wearing a shirt. Actually, it's not a shirt. I'm very confused what these are called. So I'm going to try... See if I can learn some vocabulary. Wow. Okay. Um. All right. He is close. I'm going to try to explain what the parts of these clothes were called in Elizabethan times. So men, men would wear a hat. Of course they'd wear a hat. And the hat would always have some kind of decoration, like a flower. And men would wear a shirt, but not like a shirt, like, like you and I wear a shirt, not like a t-shirt with a cool design. This shirt was called a double it a double it and on the top of the shirt they had collars like i'm wearing a collar i have a collar on my shirt some shirts have a collar right and their shirts would have a collar but they would also have an extra collar on top of that collar but it would look like they were wearing flower like a flower on their neck this was called a ruffle. So men would wear a ruffle around their neck under their beards. Then there would be a collar. 
and then there would be a doublet. And for pants, well, they didn't wear pants. They wore something that looked like poofy shorts. And these were called breeches. Breeches. Right, in the old days, they didn't wear pants. They wore breeches that looked like puffy, poofy shorts. But they didn't, you couldn't see their legs because they would wear something called hose. Yeah, they would wear a hose. And basically it was fabric that would cover their legs. And then the rest of their legs was covered by, by breeches. Anyway, there's a lot more to these clothes. It looks like clothes in the old days was very complicated. Anyway, it's time to go back to the story. So, in the next picture, there is a man, again, he's wearing uh, a hat, rough, a doublet, breeches, and hose. Did I remember? Did I get all of that right? I think he And he's walking... Oh, with the same children. There's there's the little girl. She's wearing a pretty dress. And and he's walking with the boy. And, and by the way, the boy's wearing the same clothes as the man. He's wearing a hat. He has a ruffle. He has a doublet with collar, breeches, and hose. I'm not going to do this every time. I can't do it. I think I forgot a couple of clothes. But... This man, I don't know who this man is. I think it might be the man from the other picture. Who's like the the brother or the neighbor. I don't know. So maybe it's the neighbor because it looks like they're walking into a house. I don't I don't know what I don't know what the situation is, but I think it's a neighbor. And the neighbor is bringing the children into his house while their father is reading a bedtime story. Their mother. I don't know. Maybe it's like a really green neighbor that's like, okay, kids, let's have like sleepover. And we'll watch The Princess Bride. But not too late. Because it's time for you to go to sleep. And they've got their sleeping bags or something. they got like sleeping bags. They've got like, you know, a uh, tea. A chamomile tea. But that's not a good idea. You should not be drinking tea before bedtime because then you're gonna wake up in the middle of the night. You have to do you no know, for bio business. For bio business. So anyway, this this. Ah, uh, weird old dude in the weird old clothes is taking these kids into his house. I don't know that I really like this arrangement, but I don't know. I don't know. Maybe, th maybe they're a long, long, long time family friends, so it's okay. Okay. But hopefully by then, kids are getting sleepy in their sleeping bags. Their eyes are getting heavy. They're falling asleep. Falling asleep. Oh, no, it didn't go in the house. I made a mistake. In the next picture, they're in a forest. So I'm very confused. Yeah, actually, really confused. In this picture, suddenly, uh, the neighbor man is riding a horse and the boy and the girl are in a forest next to a big tree and I don't know what, how that happened oh oh maybe they didn't go to the house next door maybe they were going out the door in their house 
and it went outside. Maybe that's what happened. Maybe they weren't going into a house. They were leaving a house. And outside of the house is a, is a forest. And so the children are in the forest and, and the neighbor, he doesn't have a car. He only has a horse because he's wearing old timey clothes. So of course he has a horse. And he says, okay, okay, go bye bye. I'm gonna go home now because it's time for me to go to bed. But suddenly some strange man uh, jumps out of the bushes and he's got a sword. But not like a cool sword, but like a really, really lame sword that's like really, really skinny. And it looks like it can break. Very, very skinny sword. And and he wants to fight the, the, the boy and the girl. And they're, uh, they're frightened. When suddenly, the, the neighbor guy jumps out off of his horse. And he runs over. And he has a sword too. They have a sword fight. I bet it looked cool. Anyway, one of the guys, uh, I think the bad guy who tries to who tried to hurt the boy and the girl, uh, he lost. He lost. He he fell over backwards, and he was so embarrassed. I bet he was really embarrassed. Now, during during this time, while the men were fighting. The boy and the girl were like, oh no, that's not good. Two dudes fighting each other with really skinny, really lame swords. We better run away. And so they did. They ran away. And what did they do? But they ran deeper and deeper into the forest. <gasps> they saw a pile of leaves. And because they saw these leaves, see, they they saw this big pile of, of leaves. And they thought, oh, it'd be kind of cool if we played, if we played in the leaves. And that's why they did something, they did something, um, Something like, like, like this, maybe. Maybe they did something like this. I played to play all in the leaves. Played with the leaves. Go in the leaves all up in the sky, all up in the air. And you know what? You know what? Pretty soon, you'll be able to do that too. You'll be able to play with the leaves. Ah, but be careful though. They're kind of dirty. Anyway, after they played with the leaves, probably they were dirty. <gasps> the one of the men, oh, because he started a fight with the kids, the other man fought back. And then the police came, police arrested him, and they put him in jail. Then, He's got uh, chains on his hands, and he's got maybe like bread by his feet. You don't want to put bread by your feet. That means it's really bad bread. There's a picture of something, picture of something next to the bread on the ground. That's that's the show. Bad bad dude. Ah, and in the last picture, after the boy and the girl played with all the leaves, all the leaves got, got blown away everywhere because they were playing. And the boy and the girl, they were so tired after running away from the, the weirdos uh, with the stupid swords fighting that they ran out and ran and ran and ran and they were tired. Then they saw those really cool pile of leaves. 
played with the leaves all afternoon and all night they got tired too so then they lay down and they fell right to sleep under the trees protected by the birds of the forest and nature there's even a friendly little bat there's a bat under the picture but he's like a he's a cool bat very friendly yeah so they they went to sleep and i bet i'll bet they'll wake up in the morning and they'll be really hungry and they'll feel kind of icky because they slept outside then they'll be really confused hey why are we outside but it's okay because their house is nearby and they'll just run 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 all the way home and they'll walk through the front door and their mom and their dad will be so surprised they'll say hey why are you, why are you coming in the house i thought you were in bed why are you dirty and then they'll have to tell a story it'll be a kind of a funny story but at least they went to sleep they went to sleep to the sound of the night and the trees and the wind and a very friendly bat and very friendly birds that were protecting them maybe singing a good night song they fell asleep did you fall asleep I sure hope you fell asleep. Very important that you fell asleep. That is the end of the story. It's very important that you're asleep right now. Not asleep. Maybe your mom and your dad are asleep too. Right. Well, that's okay too. Well, that's the end of the story, and that's the end of this podcast. Thank you. Good night.